Hi, and welcome to Arts Whistler. I'm Adam Wilson. Tonight we bring you a group that brings you not only the sound of blues, rock, rockabilly, swing, and soul. You are here and now, and this is the Railtown Prophets. This one's called The Bottle and Me. May or may not be a true story. This one's called Hot Rod.
shadow will make a man She will let me be a bottle of wine But this little girl, she just wastes my time This little girl just wastes my time And we stay up all night I play my guitar by the firelight Take my time, I'm gonna do a bright ball She disappears with the morning light No, she disappears with the morning light back here and now brought to you by Arts Whistler and I am sitting with none other the legendary Rail Town Prophets. We got uh, Brancho here, we have Dean, we have Tony and over there we have Roz. Hey guys how you doing? Doing pretty good. Doing Very pretty well, good thanks. how are you? Great show, the song sounded great, the song sounded amazing, good to have you here alive especially with everything that's going on right now. How you guys doing with that? COVID makes things pretty difficult, that's for sure. Uh, we've managed to kind of get together and keep playing a little bit kind of over the last couple of months, but, y you know, it's like everything else. There's not a lot of gigs, and it's just tough. You know, they're kind of keeping us apart, trying to keep us safe, but, uh, you know, it's good to play. Well, I've noticed you guys have been able to kind of make that happen, not only with here today, but uh, uh, you guys have done a couple online shows during this uh, downtime of the pandemic. How did that go? Wow. Oh, pretty good. I mean, it's a little, it's a little different when you don't have an audience in front of you. <laughs> don't get to feed off that energy of the people. I mean, obviously, it's, it's the only thing we can do now. But uh, you know, we keep moving on. <laughs> That's all you can do. Keep yeah, moving yeah. on. Indeed, yeah. So, Railtown Profits, you guys. Uh, first of all, I think I'm going to direct this question over to Dean. The name, <laughs> Railtown Profits. Where did that come from? Well. 
Uh, when the band kind of first came together, you know, you try to sort of find a vibe, you know, like what, what is it that we sound like, you know, what is it that's really going to kind of, you know, a name that's really going to convey, you know, what we do with music. And I don't know, I just sort of started, you know, we're definitely, we lean to, you know, music of like yesteryear and stuff, you know, we're really are, we're old time, you know, rhythm and blues and rockabilly and stuff. And I don't know, just with like, you know, we were talking about this a little bit earlier, it's like, the railway is a really big part of BC and kind of, you know, everything that kind of happens around here, even today. So, you know, I don't know, I, I kind of twigged on, you know, I wanted it to be about the railway. I tried, uh, it was, the first one was the boxcar profits. Yeah, that one was stolen. And uh, so you just kind of keep sort of, you know, trying to find, and then, you know, it was the Railtown profits, and it just, like, you know, it, it just sounds good, and it, it worked. Well, that was one of the points I was going to make with you guys sound, the Railtown Profits, because you guys do have all those kind of aspects of rock and blues and rockability along with the swing sound. It's rare that you find a band that actually the sound of the band suits the name or vice versa. So Railtown Profits, you guys have a fantastic name and a fantastic you. sound. You guys formed in 2014. And you guys played some shows, and that's probably when I first got introduced to you guys. You took a little bit of a hiatus from what I heard, but you guys are back together now. How's it going? I mean, I think it's going pretty well. We, uh, we managed to play a few shows this, this summer and into the fall and before the rules changed. And obviously several gigs got canceled. And, uh, and now it becomes even more challenging when we're not allowed to visit each other or go to people's houses to practice. So, I mean, this afternoon we got here and practiced right here. I mean, Roz has only played with us in, uh, less than a handful of times, and uh, twice. has done a wonderful, twice. wonderful <laughs> job. Actually, <laughs> twice. And how are you liking that, Roz? Yeah, it's fun. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Great. You sound yeah. great. Perfect I, fit for the band. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I genuinely like his music. It's fun. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, Brand Tool, he writes great songs. So let's talk about that here. You guys wrote some songs, from what I understand. You take a little bit of a hiatus, and now you guys are back, and now you're re- Bringing these songs back, revamping them, bringing them back to life. Bringing them back to life. I've been working on a few new ones, which I haven't really, we haven't really worked on much yet. But um, hopefully, over the next couple months, we will, uh, we'll uh, work those out and get some recording done. Um, it's obviously a huge uh, advantage to be able to have Arts Whistler supporting us and and uh, letting us use this space for tonight, example, uh, for example, and. Uh, it's a great platform here from the Arts Whistler to get this opportunity for all of us live musicians to get our stuff out there. Now is my next question with uh, the recording aspect. You have Dean, who, uh, for those of you who don't know, he is the, uh, the sound master technician here for Arts Whistler. And being in the group here, you get to do a little recording, so probably get some of these songs recorded coming up. I think so, yeah. I mean, I think... Looking kind of forward, we're going to have a little bit of time, you know, it's like we're not, we're not going to be gigging for a little while. I think it would, would be great to kind of set ourselves up in a, like a situation and kind of start to get some of these tunes in the can for sure. That's great. That's great. Um, so we talk about what uh, these beautiful guitars behind me. These happen to be Brancho's beautiful guitars. You want to tell us anything about these guitars you have here? Well, there, uh, there's a, a few of them. <laughs> I mean, I brought five here tonight, but, um, you know, my, my place looks more like a music store than it does a, a, a living space. <laughs> so that's just a fraction of the, uh, <laughs> of the total of them. <laughs> so some of these guitars, I obviously have different uh, sounds and tones that you have. Does that help inspire the writing? I noticed with the songs that you played tonight, you did, used a variety of different guitars. Is there a reason why behind that? Well, I just feel like uh, certain, certain guitars have different tones that, that suit the song more. Uh, you know, some of them play a little differently than others. The uh, the big hollow body has got a, bi a big warm sound. That one's down tuned, and uh, and I feel like it suits that song better than the other ones. And uh, <laughs> and you also mess with some like alternate tunings and stuff like that for writing. Yeah, I do, and I use two different amps tonight as well. Uh, but really, it's just a matter of uh, playing around with stuff and and finding something you like the sound of and, and sitting with that, I guess. <laughs> It's great. Uh, this is amazing that you guys are here. I loved all the songs that you guys played here tonight. 
Uh, and I can't, uh, I can't wait to hear what you guys do next. I know some of you are wondering, with the exception of maybe Dean, because he hangs around here a lot, but uh, we have this amazing uh, wheel right here. So maybe we'll start off with Tony. Get in there, Moser. Come to, on. I have to go up there and spin? Spin to win. There you go. That's the number one. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Tony. What are your favorite songs to rock out to and why? Well, that's a tricky question because that changes all the time depending on kind of what mood I'm in. Um, I like to, my favorite version of that question is, what's the best thing you listened to in the last week? And uh, lately I've been listening to this group called Dirty Loops. And the bass player is from a different planet. So being a bass player, you kind of zone in on something like that, and you just watch that, and you get inspiration from that. And then next week, it'll probably be something else, but that's what YouTube's for. That's great. Just keep, your, keep the ball rolling on all your influences and what you like and what you like to hear. Roz, okay. it's time for you to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Huh. Number five. Number five. By the way, uh, Dean, you want to introduce the uh, fifth member oh. of the band here? Lulu Sunshine Harmonica. <laughs> it's the greatest rock and roll dog ever. The greatest rock and roll dog ever. You can just sing us a tune, Lulu? Sing us a song? Beer and burgers. Yep. Beer and burgers. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> Question number five, Roz. Okay. Describe your music style in three words. Were those three words? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, eh? Yeah. That's hard. Microphone. Okay. I think normally lyrical, so doing the rock thing is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm, I'm working on that. What is your comfort zone? Kind of like flowy lyrical. I played a lot of classical, so, you know, left hand goes to the bass. I tend to do, I try not to, so I'm working on that too. Oh, that's only one. Help. Uh, what do you guys think? Juicy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What, other, what other words are there? Uh, <laughs> uh, fragrant? I don't know. Thanks. Like smooth. That, that's you, <laughs> he, right? he said fragment, <laughs> juicy. <laughs> well, as the newest member to the band, at least yeah. they have you rocking now, Roz. I'm rocking now. I'm rocking Roz. There we go. Rocking Roz. <laughs> this is great. Dean, do you want to spin the wheel? Oh, goodness. Oh, lucky seven. Oh, yeah. What's the strangest gig oh, awesome. you've ever played? <laughs> oh, I was talking about this one the other day, actually. So, the Flamingo, yes. uh, South Surrey. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, we don't have enough time tonight to really talk about how strange this gig was but it was like we couldn't get in the car fast enough and pack our gear up and just get and just drive and but just, there's a couple of go. words that we could sum it up with um, like 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 strip, strip club mall, next door. strip club <laughs> and bar and hotel all combined in one yeah. <laughs> one uh and fancy little unit in literally South Surrey. the <laughs> sketchiest neighborhood in surrey to boot at the same time it was like woo how did you ever get here it's like yo good times we were super scared just loading in and loading out like we left a guy outside a guy inside watching the gear and everyone else would move it back and forth it but on fun, stage though. you felt right at home absolutely also, had a great time. Chicken wire? well yes yes <laughs> all right it's Brancho's turn to spin the wheel see you go all the way around <laughs> number eight if your band was a dessert <laughs> What dessert would you be? I mean, I usually have my my desserts in a, in a liquid form. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Let's that, is there? It, let just call it ba uh, Bailey's. <laughs> Cream of beige. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. The Rail Town Prophets. If they were a dessert, they would be Bailey's. <laughs> 
Amazing, amazing show today, guys. Really a pleasure to be uh, here today with you guys and hearing these songs and being able to be a part of live music in a live setting. Um, can't wait to hear what comes next for you guys and can't wait to hear uh, what you guys do. So thanks for being here. Awesome, thanks thank so you, much. Man. Thanks for having us. Thanks to Arts Whistler. Yeah, thank you, Arts Whistler. This next, next one is one called, called Spilt Milk. milk. This one's called, called Kiss, Kiss Your, Your Face. face.
that's a wrap for this week on Here and Now. Thank you very much to the Railtown Prophets. Make sure you tune in next week, 7 p.m. Thursday night, Here and Now, to see Ev Kinsella and the Campfire Soul. See you then. Pretty smile, you're such a lazy